Hello, I'm David Gauntlet. In this video, I'm going to be making some connections between what we do in the Faculty of Media Arts and Design and what I sort of imagine might be of interest to people in the Faculty of Architecture and the Built Environment. This video was made for a meeting between these two faculties. I'm just trying to make some connections. I think perhaps what we have in common is a concern with the practices and the meanings of making. Uh, we're interested in making media, making things in arts and design, and in the world of architecture, you're presumably interested in making buildings, environments, and things. I think there's a shared concern in thinking about making environments and platforms where people can do creative things individually or together. Bruce Mao, the designer and sometime architect and sometime critique of architects, has said this, if we talk about design in terms of developing capacity to produce positive futures, that's a very different outcome than if we define it as producing buildings. In my new book, Making Media Studies, there's an emphasis on doing and making. Uh, as it says here, the experience of building knowledge and understanding through creative hands-on engagement with all kinds of media. The book therefore argues that we should think about media in terms of conversations, inspirations, and making things happen. So if I think about books that I've done and other books that might be on my bookshelves, then I think overall there's a kind of concern with making things, making things differently, rethinking how we do stuff, thinking about how the world fits together, thinking about how it can be sustainable, thinking about how this relates to the ethics of humans connecting with each other, using design as a way of thinking differently about the world and how we can do things in the world. The idea of museums and galleries is places that we can use as platforms for doing interesting stuff, bringing people together and enabling them to be creative together. These are ideas and concerns which I kind of assume unite people in media art and design and people in architecture. What we can see here then is a concern with making things, often together but also individually I think is important too, people getting the opportunity to create and make things which express something of themselves, express their concerns and ideas, either individually or together. A concern with ethics, how humans can do things together in a way which is respectful and sympathetic of diversity. And doing these things because we want to make a better world. And so these kind of concerns have led to links with, for example, drawing on my own case, work with the Lego Learning Institute, which has been ongoing for almost 10 years now, uh, where we've had collaborative projects about creativity, play and learning, working with academics from MIT and the University of Cambridge. I've worked for many years on and with Lego Serious Play, a process for adults in which people externalize their feelings or relationships and are able to work together so that everyone has a voice, everybody puts stuff on the table, they're able to look at the 3D object, manipulate it, move it around, see what connects with what, be surprised that certain things are not near to other things, and that wouldn't it be good if this thing was around here, and why is that not connected to that? These are the questions that can be posed when you've externalized and built stuff which otherwise was abstract or not represented. So it's a 3D way of thinking about feelings and relationships. There's an open source release of Lego Serious Play, which I co-wrote and which enables anyone to access and make use of these principles. Those Lego collaborations have then led on to other things, such as working with Mitch Resnick from MIT and collaborations such as starting to work with the Imagination Foundation, which does the Global Cardboard Challenge and Aikido, who have a particular large scale architectural construction toy for kids. In terms of what we teach, and again drawing on my own experience, we have a module called Creative Encounters, where students from across the faculty doing all different kinds of subjects, they all come together to work on a collaborative project or a set of collaborative projects devised by themselves. They can basically do whatever they want to do. They're assessed in terms of the strength of their collaborative relationships, the risks that they take, the innovation in their projects, and the imagination that they're able to show. And I teach a course called Creativity. Here we are on our creativity field trip to the Design Museum, uh, where I sparked a cardboard building craze. 
Other collaborations with the BBC and with S4C and with Lego again were about digital environments and how we can think of digital platforms that would foster creativity. Working on that led to a set of eight principles, which then it turned out can be applied to other things and physical spaces and other kinds of platforms in terms of enabling people to do stuff and do creative things. So then, kind of surprisingly for somebody in media and communication studies, you get to be working on something like this, which was the chocolate factory in Huda in the Netherlands, uh, where they brought together a library, an archive, uh, media workshops, kids workshops, a printing press, and a restaurant, all in one place. So you've got this kind of expansion of the concept of a library or a civic resource, to involve all of these things and they develop a cultural program together which is done completely equally with for example the restaurant having just as much of a voice as the archive or the printing press or any of the other bits. So it's a striking shift from the idea of the library or museum as a repository of knowledge to a place where that stuff is produced and offers a platform for creative things produced by the community. So in summary I'm kind of thinking that people from media art and design and people from architecture and the built environment might have shared concerns around making and remaking the world, about offering platforms for creativity where people can do stuff because it's what they want to do and exchange it with others, and establishing the conditions in which people can have meaningful conversations, inspire each other and instigate change. Thank you for listening. There's uh, our Westminster website and details about my own stuff are there and on davidgauntlet.com.